Hi everyone, my name is Xiao Tongzhang. I'm going to present our paper, How Does Perception Affect Safety, New Metrics and Strategy? This slide shows the motivation and contributions of this work. In our daily life, the information with high relevance to our goal or task is very sparse. What motivates this paper are two questions. The first one, how to improve perception speed by leveraging this sparsity based on relevance. This leads to our first contribution, a new execution strategy based on relevance. The second question is, how does this improvement in perception impact human-robot collaboration safety? This leads to the other two contributions, modeling robot performance based on perception metrics and two novel comprehensive perception metrics. This slide illustrates our processing strategy with relevance. The input to the algorithm includes history processing results, the current frame, and relevance. Based on this information, the original frame at current time is mapped to a rearranged frame with smaller size to save the computation power. More specifically, we select the regions with relevance and then aggregate those regions into the rearranged frame. Since the size of the rearranged frame is dynamic, we select the optimal network from an ensemble of networks to process the rearranged frame efficiently. Finally, we map the processing results of the rearranged frame back to the current frame. Next, we introduce our modeling methodology of robot safety with conventional metrics and the two novel metrics we proposed. The problem is modeled in the camera coordinate. Object A and Object B represent robot and effector and the human hand respectively. This figure illustrates the marginal condition that Object A and Object B touch and collide tangentially. Relative velocity and relative position between Object A and B are denoted as UAB and RAB. The angle between UAB and RAB is alpha C. The figure B represents the case with a general collision where alpha is smaller than alpha C. The maximum allowable traveling distance before the collision is denoted as L and can be calculated with this formula. Figure C is the case that we consider the shift between the ground truth and the detected bounding box. We further decompose the perception metrics into three categories. The first category represents effect of latency. The total latency is the sum of the perception latency and the response latency. The second category represents effect of detection rate. We define a variable k as the average number of frames required to get the detection results, which follows a geometrical distribution. The third category represents the effect of detection quality. Here, we use IOU as an example. The shift between the predicted locations and the ground truth B can be calculated. We can update the maximum allowable traveling distance after considering the IOU. Then we derive the probability of collision PC. Finally, two novel metrics can be defined. Critical collision probability, CCP, represents the average collision probability under critical conditions. Average collision probability, ACP, represents the average collision probability under all conditions. This slide shows the testing results of our processing strategy based on relevance on the LaSort dataset with conventional perception metrics. A demonstration of the processing strategy is shown in the bottom left. The top part shows the naive processing, which simply processes the whole image. The bottom shows our processing strategy based on relevance. Each frame is processed with the optimally selected neural network. The metrics we used for the evaluation are shown in the left column. The top row represents the three object detection models in our evaluation, the ULO v7 W6, ULO v7 E6, and ULO v7 D6 with increasing computational requirements. For each model, we evaluated the baseline naive processing and our processing strategy with relevance. According to the first three rows of the results, which covers the speed of processing, we find that with our processing strategy based on relevance, the speed is dramatically faster. The speed improves more on computationally expensive models. According to the last four rows of the results, which covers average recall, intersection over union, average precision at 0.5 and 0.75, 
It is found that the accuracy of the algorithm only slightly decreases with our strategy. The figure on the right shows the processing speed of each frame. The vertical axis represents the inference speed. Different color represents the size of the neural networks for the processing. It is found that smaller input sizes corresponds to lower inference time, which agrees with common sense. This slide shows the testing results based on our new metrics. In the bottom left figures, vertical axis shows the relative velocity UAB, the horizontal axis shows the distance RAB. Figure A shows the collision probability PC in baseline models, and B shows the PC with the processing strategy based on relevance. Figure C shows the PC decrease in percentage. It is found that the model's output agrees with the real-world observed results. Collision probability PC is 100% with small distance RAB and large velocity UAB. When the distance RAB become larger and velocity UAB is smaller, PC decreases in a step function manner. This chart shows the results of CCP and ACP for the three models with both baseline and relevance. It is found that relevance dramatically improves the HRC safety. HRC safety is improved by a maximum of 13.5%. Relevance performs better on computationally expensive models. Relevance performs better on ACP than CCP. That is all of our presentation. Thank you for listening. Please feel free to let us know if you have any question.